Hi everyone, I'm English teacher Microsoft MVP. Today, I would like to share with you about Implement Security for Application Science, Application Life Cycle. You can find me at my Twitter at Jensen, and you can find more about Azure Security Center at uh, Hanson Lab in, in uh, techconnect.io. Let's start with today's topic. That of practice are enabling business to stay ahead of the competition by delivering new features at a faster pace. Even though you might have an increase in production deployment, you must ensure that business agility does not come at the expense of security. Security need to shift from an afterthought to being evaluated at every step of the process. Green application is a continuous process that encompasses code infrastructure design and architect with layer security, continuous security validation, and monitoring of attack. Organizations should have continuous security validation at each step to help ensure the application is always secure. This switch the conversation with the security team from approving each process, each release to approving the CICD process and having the ability to monitor and audit the process at any time. The diagram presented on this slide highlight the key validation point in the CICD pipeline for a greenfield application. Depending on your platform and where your application is at in its life cycle. You might need to consider implementing tools regularly. This is true as well for major products that haven't previously had any security validation run against them. Validation in the CICD begins before the developer commit his or her code. Static code analysis tool in the integrated development environment provide the first line of defense to help ensure that security vulnerabilities are not introduced into the CICD process. The process for committing code into a central repository should have control to help prevent security vulnerabilities from being introduced. Using Git source control in Azure DevOps branch policy provide a get committed experience that can provide this validation by enabling branch policy on the shared branch. A pull request is required to initiate the merge process and ensure that all defined controls are being executed. The pull request should require a code review, which is the one manner but important check for identifying new issues being introduced into the code. Along with the manual check, commit should being linked to work item for auditing why the code change was made and require a continuous integration build process to success before the push can be completed. After the merge complete, you execute the CI build as part of the pull request process. Typically, the primary difference between the two runs is that the pull request of CI continuous integration process have not any of the packaging of staging done in this continual integration build. This CIA build should run static code analysis tests to ensure that the code following all rules, both maintenance and security. You can use several tools for this, including visual still code analysis and the roasting security analyzer, chat map. A static uh, application security testing tools being scheme. Uh, we a uh, binary static analysis tool that provide security and correctness result for Windows Portable SQL Driver. In addition to code quality, we verified with the CI view. Two other tedious and often ignored relation are scanning the party package for vulnerability and open source license of uh, users. 
often the process for managing the party package on Ruby and open source license is manual and tedious. Fortunately, white source software has a tool that help this identification for process almost in standard white source mode run through each build and report all the vulnerability and the license of the third party package and a six month license is include your visual still section white source mode provide report of this item but does not include the advanced management alerting capability that full product offer six months okay with new vulnerability begin regulatory discover your build report could change even through the code does not chairman includes similar white source mode integration so there could be some overlap between two tools after you have verified your code quality and deployed the application to a lower environment such as development or quality assurance the process should verify that there are no security vulnerability in the running application to test for this you can execute automated penetration test against the running application to scan for vulnerability there are different level of tests which are categorized as passive tests and active tests passive tests scan the target size as it but don't try to manipulate the request to expose additional vulnerability this type of test run fast and are usually a good candidate for a CI process that you want to complete with in a few minutes. Active test is similar many techniques that hacker common use attack the website often refer to as dynamic test or few test. Active test try a large number of different combinations to see if the site will any information. This type of test can run for much longer and use a better executed nightly as part of separate agile default release. <sighs> One tool to consider for penetration testing is OSOP. That OSOP is a worldwide norm for profit organization dedicated to helping improve the quality of software. ZAP is a free penetration testing tool for senior to professional. ZAP includes an API and a really Docker container image that are be integrated into your deployment process. They declare how to step outside the scope of, the, of this article. Refer to all ZAP VSTS extension report for detail on how to set up the integration. In addition to validate the application, you should also validate the infrastructure to check for any vulnerability. When using a public asset and you're deploying an application and sharing infrastructure, it's easier. Therefore, it's important to validate that everything has been done securely. Enjoy include many tools to help report and prevent this vulnerability, including security center and Azure policy. In addition, Azure Information Protection Scanner, Azure Scanner, okay. and ensure any public endpoint part has been whitelisted or else it will raise infrastructure issues. It is run as part of the network pipeline to provide immediate verification, but it also needed to be executed each night to ensure there are no public exposure as for resources that should not be. After the scan completed, the Azure Pipeline release is updated with a uh, report that includes the result and bugs are created in the team but not if the vulnerability has been paid. Resolve bug will close. If the vulnerability still exists, the bugs will move back into in progress. The benefit of using this is that the vulnerability are created but which provide actionable work that can be tracked and measured. You can suppose, suppress false positive using the also ZAP contest form. 
so only through vulnerability are highlighted. Even with continuous security validation running against every change, Malaysia hacker are continuously changing their approach and new vulnerabilities are being discovered. Good, good monitoring tools help you detect, prevent, and immediately issue discover while your application is running in production. And you provide a number of tools that provide detection, prevention, and alerting using uh, using provide detection prevention and everything using rules such as OSAP top 10 mode security now it's even using machine learning to detect anomalies and use unusual behavior help identify attacker Okay, now we come to our last topic in this video. Uh, in this video, distributed application and service running in the cloud are uh, by their nature complex piece of software that comprise many moving parts. In the production environment, it's important to be able to track the way in which user utilize your system track resources utilization and monitor the health and performance of your system. You can use this information such as diagnostic aid to detect and correct issues and to help spot potential problems and prevent them from occurring. Synthetic transaction are the ability to track the availability of an application across a network. This Transactions are automated, self-contained, simulated user transactions when run, they do not cause regression. Synthetic user monitoring simulates the step performance by a user and follow a predefined series of steps. With synthetic user monitoring, you write your own test client that simulate a user and perform a configurable configurable but typical series of operation. You can track the test client performance to help determine the state of the system. You can also use multiple instances of the test client as part of a loop testing operation to establish how the system responds under stress and what monitoring outputs generated user this condition. Each test case will be dependent on what type of service you are testing. That's all for today. If you've got any questions, you can tweet me about uh, about integrate the screen tools in uh, in DevOps, Azure DevOps. For today, uh, for today video blog, you can refer to dev.to/slash/jenkins. That's all for today.